I'm Max Pleasure. I'm a drag king. That's what I look like in drag in case we're confused. This is a little lip sync 101. The way that a drag performer lip syncs is unique to them. And that style is something that develops over time. And because it's something that's kind of so individual, you can't really be told exactly how to lip sync. But you can start lip syncing and finding your groove, getting your style by doing a few exercises and tasks. First, you wanna get a feel for the song. What's the song about? What's the tempo and the tone like? How do the instruments sound? What kind of instruments are there? These answers will help you identify the emotion of your lip sync and the actions that accompany it. If the song is angsty and has these shredding guitars, your facial expressions are gonna be maybe a little more snarly, a little more intense. Or um, if the singer enunciates really clearly, maybe you want to really exaggerate those points of enunciation and like pull your mouth in different directions for like different sounds. I also like to sing the song in complete privacy where not a soul can hear me. Like trying to hit the notes to the best of your ability and singing the song completely earnestly can show you what your mouth and your body does naturally when making those sounds. For example, when I'm hitting a low note, I push my chin back. And then when I'm hitting a high or <laughs> when I'm trying to hit a high note, I tilt my chin up. I also open up my arms too. Take note of what your body naturally does because these are movements that you can do during your lip sync. Learning the lyrics is of course an absolute must, especially if you're doing a song that everybody knows and the whole crowd is singing along with you, they're gonna know when you mess up. That's when the watermelon trick, mouthing watermelon when you don't know the words, doesn't cut it. When I'm learning the lyrics for a new number, I usually practice with the lyrics in front of me until I don't have to reference them anymore. Another way is writing down the lyrics repeatedly, like as if you were studying facts for a test or memorizing lines for a play. I remember doing that at least once. I was doing a new Jack Skellington number for a paint and sip. I was trying to learn the lyrics the day of though, so it was too little too late. It was also Fall Out Boy's cover of What's This, which is already way too many words, especially to cram. Learning lyrics takes time. When you're creating a new drag performance, no matter what, however many million other things you have to do, learning the lyrics should be one of the first things. I remember that my lip syncing really leveled up when I watched myself. It was like 2015 or 2016. I was still living in my parents' house. I sat down on the carpet in my old bedroom in front of my mirror and gave myself a little show. I lip synced for myself. Watching myself in real time finally showed me like where I needed to up the ante, where I needed to make things a little bigger. Watching yourself, whether live in the mirror or watching back a video of yourself can really open your eyes because when you're performing, you think you know what you're doing. You think you know what you look like, but you don't really know until you see it for yourself. The most important thing about a lip sync performance, in my opinion, in my experience as a drag performer, you need to remember that it's more than just your mouth. It's more than just moving your mouth to the lyrics. Unless you're a drag performer who's singing live, the point of your performance isn't showing off vocal talent. It's not your voice. The performance is the lip sync. You get what I mean? Think bigger, give a show. You have your whole face to use. You can express with your eyebrows and with your eyes and with your nose. Some people can even move their ears. You have your whole body at your disposal. Lip syncing is something that you get more comfortable with over time. The more you do it, the better you're gonna be at it and the more your personal style and charisma and persona is gonna shine through. You can jumpstart that journey by doing these exercises and trying out these exercises can also help you figure out your own methods and your own techniques for doing it. So I hope that these help you.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in hearing more drag tips, techniques, tutorials, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, please give me a like. Also feel free to share. Please tag me if you do. If you have any methods or techniques that you've figured out that really help you with your lip syncing, please share them in the comments. And that's it. Thank you.